nighttime vlogging here at the Disneyland Resort over here on Harbor Boulevard in Catella, parking in the $55 zone. All right, I'm gonna go see the tree house because I didn't get to see the tree house the last time I was here. All right, let's park right here. Right next to whatever car this is. All right, yeah, let's go take a look at the tree house. I'm gonna go see if I can get into the castle again since this new camera shoots good in the dark. So I'm gonna go do the castle first and then go head over to the tree house and see if I can get on it. All right, this is Black Friday, man. It's 11, 24, 2023. Just worked all day, put in my, uh, I think it worked seven hours. Now I'm over here at the Disneyland Resort. So let's go see what's uh, going on inside on Black Friday. All right, let's go through here and get on the bus. All right, let's see if there's anybody. That's a dead zone. Wow, nobody. Let's see on the bus. Maybe I can get on that. Not too many people here at the main gates. Let's go see what it looks like on the inside. And there's decorations. All right, let's just pick uh, this line right here and scan in. Right, man, there's a massive crowd waiting for the parade to show up. Christmas tree. Get to go the back way. I hope. Well, maybe not. I've seen some people go that way. Oh, man, I'm going to go down Main Street. Let me crowd it. All right, a few minutes, this thing's going to start. So I'm not going to be here for this. And some huge crowds. Parade's gonna start probably about 10 minutes. I'm gonna be bypassing that, going straight to the castle. And that was crazy, Bob and we even trying to get over here to the castle. I think the parade just started. I think it's actually coming out of uh, over by the main gate area. We're about the Mad Hatter. All right, so the entrance to the castle is gonna be over here, so that's cool. Let's go check out inside the castle. All right, it's open. It's a uh, peek inside Sleeping Beauty's castle. I don't even know. I, this might be the third time ever in here. I know I've been in here once. Can't really say I've been in here twice, but I may have. Literally inside the castle right now. And the crows all crowing up here. Here we're going to the tippy top right here. What do we got? What do we got? Pretty cool up here. What are you guys doing, man? Did they eat too much? What's going on? I guess there's a whole story. I guess you can probably read the whole story as you're going, I guess. There's Adam the Woo sign right there, him and Justice Scar. Here. <laughs> Hello. 
just guarding the door. Well, if anybody pops out, it's just this guy guarding the door. Missed it. I missed something? Nope. I guess that's about it. Hmm. Alright, we're going back down. It's a trip. Look way back in there. Weird man, it's like way back down in there. So if you're out. That's an illusion, or that goes way down there. It's a trip. Must be projected somehow in there. All right, what do we got going now? Like a cloud. Oh yeah. Come on, man, give her a kiss. Here we go. Sleeping Beauty's castle. She just woke up. <laughs> the end. Yeah, I guess it's the whole story. I'm gonna go the long route, but we're gonna head over to the treehouse right now. Across the waterway is the Mark Twain. Looks like a lot of that scrim is down, but scaffolding is still up. We'll take a look at that after we hit up this treehouse, which is around the corner over here. Let's see if we can get on it. <laughs> um, okay, when I was here the first night to try to get on this thing, I see people up there, so it should be open. Uh, let's see how we get in because there's actually a queue line for it. But I don't know if there's a queue line at night. Alright, it is open. Let's uh, go check out this treehouse. Alright, there was an issue last time. I'll take you to where the issue was, which is up past. Actually, right past on the other side of that. So we'll go see what that was all about. And, well, I probably won't know what it was, but they were actually cleaning stuff up. So. And this isn't working right now, so I don't know if there was like a bunch of splashing going on. Maybe somebody slipped, tripped. But let's go up there and check it out. Go look over here first. Let's check out Jane. Jane's all looking around. Money they put into this man because over two years this thing was closed. I think it's better to look at this thing at night like I am now because you can see everything during the day. You got all this netting in the way, but nighttime you can see it a little better. Our studio, a wondrous workshop. I 
I don't know if there's more than one way to get up here or not, so let's pick this staircase. Actually, this might be the area where I saw them cleaning up. Now that I'm up here. Okay, either they were right in this area here or they were actually right here. I'm not 100% sure now. Some steep steps. the same or is everything different? It's been so long. light though. Hopefully that's in focus. This camera decides what it wants to focus on. I'm trying to dial in this camera. The DJI Pocket 3. It's got night mode. She's good at night, cut a one-inch sensor. Now I think I'm almost at the tip top. It's in that porthole. Last time was way better. <laughs> the frog, the fish. <laughs> see, I seen people in that queue line once in a video down there trying to get in here so I didn't think uh gonna get in right towards the front but it's nighttime so man I'm gonna guess that's the parking structure right there oh, splash mountain scaffolding right behind the trees over in through here oh wow you got all the these land hotels over there right up into this area Freaked out with heights. Two over two years to get this thing taken care of. I 
I finally got to be up here. All right, if you got this far in the video, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. It is totally free. Finally got on the tree house. The old water, the old water wheel, man. And part of it works and part of it doesn't. I think this thing was splashing. I'm sure I won't get an answer from anybody cast member wise, but I think that thing was probably splashing on stuff up above. All right, you could exit to the right, but I'm going to go down the 88 ramp. Actually, man, they have the queue line over here, too, for this. Even though that's usually for pirates. But yeah, I've seen videos where they were queue lining over there and coming up here. Next stop, let's go take a look at the Mark Twain. There's not a lot of people over here because the parade's going on, but once the parade's over, man, either they're gonna mad exit us out, or they're gonna trickle back out this way to get on the rides. But let's go take a look at the Mark Twain. Right, just made my way over here to Pelican's Landing. Had to take this thing out of night mode, or the low light mode, it's a bunch of Pelicans. Check out the new paddle wheel. Brand spanking new paddle wheel. See if we can see inside. Zoom in. Can't really see a lot, but you can kind of see down there they're doing a lot of painting. Looking pretty good, and this section about right right in here is all rotted out. Now it's been completely redone. Smokestacks look like they've been repainted and regilded with gold. Can't tell if there's windows up there or not. Well, the guy actually, uh, I don't even know, I'm drawing a blank on the name. Let's go see what's back here. This hasn't been open for a while. Let's see if that GoPro mount's still up. Yes, it is. Anyways, it's nighttime. Can't see if there's actually a GoPro mount. I don't know what that's all about. Sounds like there might be people, uh, Working on the Mark Twain right now. Something's going on over there. All right, there's somebody actually back here. Seating area back here is uh, available again. And the bell looks like it's been painted and looking good. All right, let's go see what's over here for. Splash Mountain area. Lights on, what's all that? A bunch of pipes, what is that? It is. A bunch of pipes and stuff right there. What else we got? Can't really see much. But that still looks all the same with the wood over the actual waterways. Cut out the bushes over here. The dead bushes that are oh whoa, look at that. All chunked out. Wow. There's all those pipes. I wonder what they're gonna be doing over here. Especially those will be scrimmed off. Won't even be able to see anything over here, I guarantee it. It's too dark to be doing nighttime vlogs for this, but let's go take a look at the briar patch. See kind of merch is in there, that's still up there. Now the ones on the inside have changed. Let's go take a look. No, Kathy, let's go. Home goods. No Christmas merch in here.
and absolutely no Christmas merch. Mini Mouse hoodies right there. A little bit of pins. Right, gotta come back here during the day so we can do a Splash Mountain update. Man, it's not too many people over here at all. The trip the last time I was here, the train went by. Is this even open down here? If it is, I want to go get me a Coke. It's so cheaper down here. Might be open. Oh, well, you got some Christmas over here. Let's check this out. Santa actually hangs out here. So it's right there. Santa photos right on here the, on this side. Kind of a unique spot for Santa to be chilling out. Which I actually need to go to the hotels because there's updates over there I need to go do. Yeah, during the day I gotta come back, do some uh, updates. We got back in there. Right, I'm going here to get a Coke. Right, shot the video I needed to film. Now it's time to bail out. Like I say, this is Black Friday. Worked all day, straight out of work, came here. Didn't get anything to eat. So once I bail out of here, get me something to eat. And if, you, and if you like that video, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. It is totally free. Just cruising down Main Street, now I gotta go hop on the bus. We'll go get me something to eat. All right, next video, I gotta be over here during the day. I'm gonna be doing the hotel updates and a little bit of downtown Disney because there ain't much going on with downtown Disney but there is some stuff over the hotel I haven't actually got to go film yet because there are some things going on over there all right I was here last year I think where they had the processional I don't know what you call it Christmas choir and everybody that's up here on stage that they haven't put here yet but since Scrims up there. The big speaker's covered up. This must be coming soon. Right, bailing out of Disneyland. Gets me out over here towards the bus. Gotta get out of here before the mad exodus. I don't know, it's only 8 o'clock though. Like I said, I worked all day. Kind of pooped. And I do work in retail. Right, time to get the Toy Story shuttle. All right, let's go check out this flicker sign right here. The Disneyland flicker sign. Looks like a Coke bottle, man. I think it needs to be cherried out. Right here's the preferred parking zone. The $55 zone. And I parked right into the $55 zone. This person doesn't know where they're going. I guess at night, man, you just park wherever you need because there's not a lot of people over here or cast members. All right. Ooh, that sounded real good. I didn't take the, <laughs> I didn't take the brakes off. All right, let's get out of here. Look at this. It's $55 zone, man. Not too many people use this because who wants to pay 55 bucks when on the other side of those cones right there is the standard 35. Sometimes this lot's busy and sometimes it's not. It seems like it's more not busy than anything else. So they should build a Disney Springs type deal right here. Let's see if we can get this green light. We can really use getting this green light. Here. Somebody give me some knee. 